guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the Ordinary Argerling Solution 10%. Now I've talked about this product several times on my channel already, months ago, maybe a year, year and a half ago, and for some reason, all of a sudden I'm getting a lot of people asking me about this product. Now, I've been seeing this product a lot on TikTok, and I'm wondering if that's where people are starting to find out about the Argerling solution. This has been out for a very long time, but as you know, things get hyped up and more and more people start finding out about certain skincare products, especially from TikTok. So I'm gonna talk about how you can incorporate this in your skincare routine, what products that you can and can't use it with, and I'm also gonna share my experience with using this as well, because lately I've been very consistent with it. But before we get into it, if you could please like this video, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. By doing so, you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I do upload videos every single week. Now from The Ordinary, they do have four different types of peptides. They have the Argerlene Solution, the Buffet, the Buffet Plus Copper Peptides, as well as Metrixil. Now peptides are short chains of amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins. So this will help to build collagen and it will help to eliminate fine lines and wrinkles over time. Recently, I did upload a video on peptides as well as copper peptides and which ones I really like. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave it below for you as well as up here if you'd like to check that out. So our Argerling is also known as hexapeptide 8, and this ingredient is known to be a Botox alternative. A lot of people say it's Botox in a bottle, this works just as good, this is going to remove those fine lines around the crow's feet area, forehead lines, and the 11s. And I've been using this on and off for several years, but I've actually never been consistent with it. But up until about a couple of weeks ago, I thought I'm gonna give this a go and I'm gonna use it twice a day and not even use my other eye serums that I've mentioned on my channel. So those have been put away and I've just been using this morning as well as night. And the more consistent you are with a product, especially something like this, the quicker you are going to see results if you do see results. Not everybody is going to have the same experience with skincare products. What works for me may not work for you, vice versa, but it's definitely worth giving it a go and just to see if you notice any difference. So I can only speak for myself, but so far I'm starting to see a difference. And where I'm starting to see those results is the crow's feet area. So the two places that I've been putting this on is the crow's feet as well as my forehead lines. Now my forehead lines are definitely not deep wrinkles, but I'm starting to see little dynamic lines. So I've been putting it here as well as here. I haven't seen too much of a difference with the forehead yet, but I've definitely started to notice a small difference with the crow's feet area. My fine lines are still there, but I noticed that they are softening up. They're not as defined. So that is huge, and I've only been using this for three weeks, twice a day. I'm still using tretinoin, I'm still using that on my overall face, not on my neck of course, but I recently started to try to bring my tretinoin under my eyes a little bit. I'm still doing that just in the crow's feet area. I don't bring the tretinoin right up underneath my eyes because I would just have so much dryness if I were to do that. But I'm trying to train the tretinoin to go a little bit higher up to treat this area. So I can actually pair this with my tretinoin. And I'm wondering if that's why I'm starting to notice a difference because I'm getting the treatment from the Argerlene, but I'm also getting the treatment from the Tretinoin. So I don't know if it's the combination or if it's just this, but regardless, I am quite pleased and I'm definitely gonna be more consistent with this from this day forward. Now when I apply this to my eye area, I apply one drop to my ring finger and I rub my two ring fingers together and then I gently pat underneath my eyes and underneath my brow bone. Now, up until last week, which would have been the third week of using this consistently twice a day, 
I started noticing that my brow bone area and my eyelid were becoming really dry and flaky. And I don't know why it took the third week to experience that, but that can happen with skincare products. You could be good for the first couple of weeks and then all of a sudden, you experience dryness and irritation. So I don't apply this to the brow bone anymore because of the dryness that I'm experiencing, but I might start to introduce it again down the road and just slowly incorporate it back into this area again. Obviously that area is more sensitive than the under eye area, so I'm just gonna have to be super gentle and cautious when I apply this to that area. It also made my eyelids dry as well, which is really weird because I don't apply this to my eyelids, but your skin does absorb the product and it does go into certain areas once it's all absorbed in. So please keep that in mind. You may experience some dryness, you may not, but my under eye area is perfectly fine and I haven't experienced any dryness whatsoever. This is a very watery formula, which I actually personally like, so it mimics a toner, that type of consistency, which is why it's called a solution. And with a texture like this, you don't have to worry about it being tacky on the skin and heavy. It's very lightweight, it feels like water, and it's also pretty hydrating as well. This also doesn't pill with any of my skincare products, and it sits nicely underneath moisturizer, sunscreen, and makeup. So you are getting 30 30 mils of product and this retails at $7.90 Canadian. As you can see it's just running down my hand and it's already absorbed. So that's what I mean. You have to work really quickly with this especially if you're putting it all over your face and your neck. So I really would recommend this based on my experience with it. I think it's a lovely product. Like I said, I've been using this for three weeks consistently and I'm already starting to see some small changes with the fine lines under my eyes and I'm absolutely shook. I don't know if it's the combo with tretinoin and this or if it's just the Argerlene solution, but regardless, I am really happy with what I'm seeing so far. And I'm kind of disappointed with myself because I've been using this on and off for several years. And if I would have been consistent with this back a couple of years ago, maybe I wouldn't have the fine lines under my eyes like I do now. I don't know, we'll never know, but Definitely pick it up, give it a go, see if it's gonna work for you, and I would love to hear your feedback. Have you used this? Did you see results with it? Leave them all in the comments below. And I will have this product linked below for you as well. So thank you so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.